Thank you for joining us for the GeoDream installation series. This video will cover base system installation. Here we see all the tools necessary for GeoDream installation. We'll begin by installing our underlayment. The reflective surface of the underlayment allows all heat from a GeoDream system to be directed into the room itself. Here we are using double-sided carpet tape to secure the underlayment to the subfloor, but water-based adhesives may be used instead. We cut the GeoDream panel sets to the correct size using a standard pair of scissors and being careful to cut along the labeled cut lines only. Using a utility knife for this step will also work, but in that case the GeoDream should be moved off the underlayment first. We lightly tape the edges of the GeoDream panel sets into their final position, which prevents the GeoDream from slipping throughout the rest of the installation. Our first step in wiring the GeoDream system is to attach the connector clips onto the power leads while following our wiring diagram. The connector should be inserted into the barrel crimper of the tool, split side down, and crimped to form a tight seal. Depending on which GeoDream bus you are connecting, there may be one or two wires inside the connector barrel. In order to further secure the connections, we crimp the barrel again using the flat jaw section of the crimping tool. This also allows the connectors to lay flatter inside the junction boxes. We then repeat the crimping steps for each GeoDream bus bar in the system. Now we need to attach the connector clips onto the film. Position the clips centered over the bus bar and close the connector itself to provide a stable base for crimping. Then, using the flat jaw section of the crimping tool, secure the connection to the film. For optimal connectivity, crimp at least once from both the left and right sides. We repeat the film connections for each bus bar in the GeoDream system. To allow the power leads to lay flat under the flooring, we need to cut a wire channel in the underlayment. We do this by tracing our wires with a utility knife and removing enough material for the wires to be completely submerged within the underlayment itself. Now that all of the electrical connections have been made, we verify that our resistance is within design tolerance by using an ohm meter. Next, we need to provide insulation for the clip connectors using a GeoDream junction box. Fit the junction box under the connector clip and press down with enough force to slightly indent the underlayment. Then remove the box itself and using a utility knife and fingers, remove the section of the underlayment where the box will sit. This method ensures that the proper amount of space will be allotted for the box with no excess space or alignment concerns. The next step is to actually install the junction boxes around the clip connectors. We place the male side of the box on the bottom of the clip and the female side of the box on top of the clip. In this installation, we are also adding 100% non-conductive silicone inside the box itself to show how to install the boxes in areas where moisture may be a concern. Please note that while the silicone addition is not mandatory, it is highly recommended, since any moisture buildup will not react well with the electrical current passing through the system. Once the boxes are prepared, Simply enclose the clip connector and press the two halves of the box together until connected securely. Now that the junction boxes are in place, we verify our resistance again. Next, we tape over all of the wire channels to make sure that the lead wires stay submerged within the underlayment throughout the life of the GeoDream system. Keeping the wires within the underlayment will provide additional protection for both the GeoDream system and the floor covering above. In order to seal the ends of the bus bars that are opposite the lead wires, we are covering them with vinyl mastic insulating tape. While standard electrical tape can be used, we highly recommend the mastic tape for moisture proofing purposes. 
Now we are going to secure the edges of the geodrim panel sets by taping them down to the underlayment. A water-based adhesive may be used in place of the tape. Our next step is to install the floor sensor that our thermostat will use to control our system. We place the sensor itself in between the panel sets and cut out a small portion of underlayment to allow it to lay flat beneath floor covering. This placement allows the thermostat to read the temperature of the flooring itself, providing much faster warm-up times. We create a channel for the floor sensor lead and tape in place the same way we did for our electrical leads. We check the electrical resistance again to ensure that we are still within design tolerance. An overall view of what the final Geodream system looks like once all of the installation steps are complete. Thank you for joining us for the Geodream base system installation video.